Dads in One Piece, and in anime in general, have never been that great. Most of the best father figures in One Piece are not even the biological fathers, with Zeph and Whitebeard as some good examples. Well, Judge, Dragon, and Yasop are some of the worst. As a father myself, I couldn't imagine abandoning my child the way that some of these fathers do. But I always think of the quote that Wade Boggs said, Anyone can be a father, but it takes someone special to be a dad. You don't need to be someone's biological father to be a great father figure. And that is seen in Zoro. Now right off the bat, we can see how good Zoro is as a father with how he treats Chopper. When Chopper is tired, he rides on Zoro's shoulders. When they go to the bathhouse, Zoro is the one that washes his back. When there is a need for Chopper to physically do something that requires strength, then it's usually Zoro that gives him a hand. When Chopper needs some mental reassurance, it is Zoro that provides those words of encouragement. Many will look at this as a big brother relationship, and I get that. Being the eldest child myself, a big brother relationship does mirror a fatherly one because they have these similar qualities. Zoro is one of the most dependable crew members. Other than directions, he is dependable to do what is needed. You need a fighter, obviously he's there. You need someone to watch the ship, he is usually the one that stays behind. You need a leader to take over command, when Luffy can't, then Zoro is your man. There doesn't need to be a discussion with Zoro on what he needs to do. He knows his responsibilities and he does it. Never complains, he isn't afraid of hard work. A good father is someone who can be dependable and you can always count on. A father should be compassionate. Now, this may not be the first thing you think of when it comes to Zoro, but he is really caring and compassionate. We covered this with how he is with Chopper, but it's the same with other of the younger characters that the Straw Hats encounter. Most recently, we see this with how he treats Momo and helps him with his training. And we see this with how he acts with Toma. The reason he and Luffy get so angry when the Beats Pirates are spilling the red bean soup was due to the compassion that he felt for Toma and her situation. Compassion comes in many different shapes and sizes. You don't need to be all lovey-dovey to show compassion. All you need to do is show concern for others' pains or misfortunes. A father should always be honest. A lot of what I know was wisdom passed down to me by my father. And he has always been honest even when I didn't want to hear it. That's what our father does, and that's what Zoro does well. When Usopp left the crew, Luffy and the rest wanted to just forgive him and forget what happened. Zoro was the one that stood up, and he said what needed to be said. He was honest with everybody and helped him understand that Usopp needed to show respect and ask for forgiveness. Without that, they could not move forward as a crew. That wasn't what the crew wanted to hear. But they knew he was right. A father understands what needs to be said and isn't afraid to say it. A father needs to be a strong figure. And I don't mean it in a my dad can beat up your dad kind of way. There are many forms of strength, but the most important is that he should be mentally strong. Able to bear all that is going on in his life and not let it affect his children. Zoro obviously is extremely physically strong, but he's also scarily mentally strong. There are two very obvious but great moments in One Piece that show this trait. The most known and where Zoro becomes the favorite character of many people is the nothing happened moment. Yes, he showed how much of a badass he was and how tough he was by withstanding all that pain, but the mental fortitude to be able to sacrifice his life for the sake of those he cared for, that is hard to do. Yes, he withstood it, but that wasn't a guarantee in the eyes of Zoro. At that moment, he was putting aside his dreams, his ambitions for the love of his captain and his crew. Sometimes as a father, you have to put your dreams, wants, and desires aside for the sake of your family. That's being mentally strong, and many fail to live up to the strength. And the other big moment he showed this strength is during the Mihawk fight. This fight was completely one-sided. There was no denying that Zoro was weak compared to Mihawk. But Zoro did not back down. When Mihawk stabbed him, 
he did not back away despite his life being in danger because of what taking a step backward meant for his values and dreams. Although you may need to take a pause on your dreams for the sake of your kids at times, that doesn't mean you stop moving forward completely. That doesn't mean you revert back to the man you used to be. Keeping your values and always looking forward is hard to do, but those great fathers will always do this. That is mental strength. So what it means to be a great father is going to differ from person to person. But to me, and the qualities that I strive to show, no one in one piece exemplifies them better than Zoro. Being strong, honest, compassionate, dependable, Rorona Zoro is the best father figure in one piece. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Hope you are striving to be the best fathers you can be. This has been the Sad Pirate King. Thank you and stay safe.